What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Wacto eSig. Today we don't have a review, but I'm gonna go over a few updates, what's going on, um, what I've been doing the past couple weeks, and the reviews I have coming up. Plus, we're gonna vape a little bit, so stay tuned. So I haven't posted anything recently. Uh, that's due to problems I've had with my equipment and honestly just finding something cool to review for you guys. But I have found something. It's the Goblin version 1.2 or 1.1 or version 2. It's been called different things. But either way, it's um, it's been gaining a lot of hype around the vaping community. And I wanted to find out exactly why everyone was so excited about it. So I have this and there will be a review coming soon for it but not today I, I wanna I wanna play around with it a little bit more and figure out everything I need to talk about before I I jump into a, a review so for today we're just gonna talk about what I've been doing the past couple weeks and what's coming up in the future so I've been pretty busy with uh, schoolwork I'm at university now so I've been trying to get all that stuff out of the way and focus on that a lot um, before I get these reviews out and videos out but right now I'm pretty caught up and I have had some time to make this video so I figured I'd do that um, I will have a review coming for this goblin as soon as possible but for now I'll tell you a little bit about it this thing gives off amazing flavor a lot of people are saying it's on par with a dripper. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'll have to I have to really go into detail, but the flavor is fucking amazing on this tank. It is really nice. Um, it comes with two different tanks. It has a smaller one, which I'm using now, which is like 3.8 mils or something like that. And then there's a bigger one that's like 4.2 or 5 mil. So that's pretty impressive. Um, it's dual coil and obviously the vapor is amazing I'm running this 0 .4, 0 0.4 ohm coil at 36 watts and I'm not getting any dry hits which is good but the no dr getting no dry hits from it and not getting it to leak is all to do with wicking it properly which is with most tanks but for this one especially you really need to get the wicking done properly before um, before you you'll get the perfect vape but I, I'll talk more about that when I get into re the review but for now just know that this is a really good tank um, if you're into rebuilding already and you know how to get stuff done I would go out and buy this. I don't think you're going to have any problems with it, but if you want to wait for the review, that's fine. If you want to check out other reviews, that's fine too. So on the subject of new tanks, I saw a review of the Limo 2, which is the E-Leaf uh, rebuildable tank. Um, they had a Limo 1, and I never got to try it, but I heard really good things about it. It was just a single coil. Apparently it had, it had decent airflow, more than a K-Fun, but less than the Goblin. And it had good flavor as well. So, um, so a lot of people were happy with that. But now they have a Limo 2, and it's not released yet, but I did see one review on it, and it looks interesting. I'm not too sure what to think about it yet. It has a, a new way of filling, which a lot of people hate on these rebuildable tanks, that you have to unscrew the bottom. Uh, it's just the unscrew on the bottom is the same on this goblin, but I don't know. I'm kind of used to it now, but a lot of people were upset about that. So they've kind of solved that with this new tank. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'll have to check it out at some point or see more reviews myself to, to find out more about it. As far as rebuildable dripping atomizers go, there is the Freak Show Mini, which I want to get my hands on at some point. I think it'll be cool because I like the idea of a, a smaller atomizer, especially when dripping, because 
you don't need that extra space for a tank, right? And with a, a taller atomizer, you're getting less flavor generally. So I don't know, I I'd, I'd like this new trend of having smaller dripping atomizers and smaller atomizers in general. As far as starter kits go, um, I want to get into more beginner level devices to, to show people because I know there are a lot of beginner people and it kind of bugs me that everyone's recommending like a ice stick 50 watt with a sub tank on it for someone who's never vaped before and yes that is a really great combination I use it myself but I know what sub ohm vaping feels like um, I know all the safety precautions you need to take even on a regulated device and I, I prefer a warmer vape and, and a lot more power and stuff like that so I don't know I still think personally if you want to start vaping start vaping small go for I mean even the iStick 20 watt and a Nautilus Mini that's a good starter kit it's kind of big though so I don't know I want to show you guys some beginner stuff and and see what I would recommend to a new vapor it's uh, so far I've seen the the e-grip and the ego one both from joytech and those seem like really good beginner devices the e-grip has a built-in tank and built-in battery as well so you're not gonna have to worry about changing those two things which is really good and it's a good size and the ego one is tiny um, I saw a lot of videos on it and a lot of pictures on it but I never saw one in person until last week I think and it is a really small device like it's shorter than this setup and maybe half the half the width of an ice stick 50 y it's a really good beginner device in my opinion but I'll need to vape it and see how it compares to other beginner devices before I recommend that fully Speaking of beginners, I was on a Facebook page called Vaping Newbies this weekend and a few people were asking about their sub tank mini and getting dry hits and all this kind of stuff and I already know I went through all the shit about fixing the wicking on the RBA section of the of the sub tank mini and uh, and I figured I would help them out so I gave them some pointers I made a quick kind of crappy video about how I personally wick it and it seemed to help so I figured okay if the if there are so many people that need immediate help and they don't and they're not finding the answers on Google or on YouTube um, maybe I should start a, a live kind of show to to give people immediate answers to their questions so I went on vapors.tv um, I have a channel on their an account on there called the helper and I made it specifically just to help out people that need immediate questions maybe they're beginners and it, it went quite well I guess there was only a few people that needed help but I honestly don't care how many people want the help um, as long as I'm helping one person and I have the time to do it that's what I'm gonna do so I hope to do more of them in the future I hope to help out as many people as possible especially beginner people because you know they go on a Facebook page or a YouTube video and they're hearing all the lingo um, and all the all the technical stuff that they don't understand so there's a lot of stuff that beginners need to know and I really want to help them out the contest winners for the or the giveaway winners for the cotton bacon video have been chosen and I've sent all of you who've won messages on YouTube so if you've been wondering where where the answers to that have been go on YouTube check your messages they're there um, if people still aren't finding out how to do that or whatever um, I guess I'll make a video another video specifically announcing the winners but I don't feel like I need to do that if I messaged you already um, so sorry but I did message you on YouTube and only like 30 people I think commented on the video so only 10 people didn't win uh, those were really good chances I knew your chances would be good even if you entered but I didn't think that 
almost every single person would win. So congratulations. But I, I do have a couple of the I do have all of them actually packaged up and ready to send out. And a couple of people have messaged me back with their addresses. So I'll be sending them out as soon as possible. Definitely this week I'll be sending them out. So look out for them. Next up, I want to just say some thank yous to some people that have been following the channel since it first started and following the reviews anyway since it first started um, and commenting and liking the videos and uh, s giving me some feedback and back and forths on the on the forum. So I want to say thank you to you guys. I'll I'll try and find your names now. One second. Waiting for ads is always fun. Okay. Uh, Max Carter was one of the first people to comment on uh, my videos and he had told me in the beginning I hope you invest in a mic and I had already had that planned so um, obviously now the audio is a lot better but thank you Matt Carter for watching all the videos and all of your support Jay the redneck one uh, I know I think you make videos as well I checked out your channel so good on you for that and thank you for for leaving some feedback you uh, you got some you got the fresh air box which is the review I first did and I thought that was cool there's Hadif 786 thank you for commenting on I think almost every single video maybe even every video that I've put up uh, you're giving me really good feedback and you were the first person on the channel to recommend the Goblin RTA and it says here that you says it performs any tank out there it's close to a dripper just insane so I kind of have to agree with you this is this is a really good recommendation so thank you for that There's a guy um, called Granger. He does vaping with Granger reviews or VWG reviews. He subscribed to my channel and I subscribe to his and I watch every video he puts up just because I think he, he's a pretty good reviewer and I enjoy watching videos. So shout out to you, Vaping with Granger. What is up? Let's see who else I can get into this. Oh, how could I forget? There's Judy Henry, who's been very excited about uh, all the reviews since they started. Uh, she was on the forum from the beginning, um, and she's been giving a lot of good feedback and talking about her experiences, especially with the custom e juice. And I want to thank you, Judy Henry, for for supporting the channel. So yeah, if I if I missed anyone, that's that's been commenting on the videos and showing support even on the forum um, sorry I missed you but maybe next time uh, just leave a comment saying how long you've been watching I guess I don't know um, I don't even know when the next time I'll do one of these videos is just because once I start getting all the reviews in um, I maybe won't have as much time to just kick back and and talk about shit so the reviews that I have coming up I think are going to be pretty cool. Uh, electthinker.com is a company based out of China and they contacted me asking for a review and they're going to be sending me a DNA40 clone which I think will be a lot of fun to try out and review for you guys. Uh, I'm excited about the DNA40 whole idea because um, temperature control and I think that's where the future of vaping is headed even if it's not completely figured out yet I think that's where it's headed so I'd like to try that out um, and it's a clone so the price is cheaper and I'm not really into spending 200 300 bucks on a mod if you are that's fine go for it but personally I don't really want to spend that kind of money yet for something that's not a hundred percent worked out uh, they're also sending me a Camry K1000. It's an old device, but I've wanted one since they first came out, and it's the E-Pipe. 
It takes one 18 through 50 battery and it looks like a pipe when you have something attached to it. So I guess I'll attach the Nautilus Mini or something. I'll, I'll try out different things and look out for the review for that. So another company that contacted me was gearbest.com and they've been contacting apparently every single reviewer so I shouldn't let my head get too big about that one. Uh, I wasn't anyway but they contacted me about doing a review and I went on their website and chose out the SMY35. It's just a 35 watt relatively small box mod again I think. Um, I've heard some bad things about it and I've heard some good things about it so I'm looking forward to checking that out and I've I've actually heard from some people I was watching a show I think it was the reviewers queue and they all started talking about it and how the battery is loose inside nothing's holding it together and it started smoking from the inside and I emailed Gearbest and I was like look I really appreciate you sending me something to review and I know it's my bad for choosing it but if this is actually dangerous I'm not going to review it um, if you want me to send it back, that's okay, I don't mind, but I'm not going to put myself in danger for the sake of a video. So, they said it's fine, you can just keep it, and hopefully it's it's not as defective as some people say it is. I'm looking forward to finding out anyway. But Gearbest right now is holding a promotion of some sorts, it's just uh, a sale. Um, they don't only sell e-cig stuff, they sell a bunch of electronics and just random knickknacks like like a lot of the Chinese websites do. But they do have some e-cig deals on there, so if you want to go check it out, uh, the link will be in the description for that as well. I know you guys want to watch the video to get more information, but I think it's time for a vape break. So you can skip past this if you want. Well, those were bad O's. It's a little better. Um, I want to also make some videos about like vape tricks just because I enjoy doing them and I think it's fun and people like watching them. So if I get a chance, I'll, I'll definitely make some videos of me doing vape tricks and I'll probably go to local shops around and find other people that know how to do them and make a compilation or something. Um, and if people are interested, maybe I'll even do tutorials for them because they're honestly not that hard. But some of them can be really hard and take a lot of time and people make them look really easy. But the majority, like O's and the Tornado, they're pretty simple and they're fun to do. So I think that's about it for updates, uh, what's been going on, what reviews are coming up the cotton bacon contest or giveaway um, I think that's about it one other thing uh, the K box uh, I don't remember if I mentioned about it being pretty sturdy but it is a pretty sturdy device I have an ITACE VTR which is a heavy heavy mod and I dropped it by accident and it landed directly onto the K box and all that happened is it got this slight, I don't know if that'll focus, but it, it got this slight chip out of it, which kind of bugged me because I don't like scratches and chips and stuff. I don't think anyone does, but it held up and I was really impressed by that. So if you were wondering, it maybe doesn't look like the most sturdy device, but it, it is a very strong device. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the Goblin review and the other reviews I have coming up. Ooh, I forgot. I also have some juice coming. Uh, I think there's Premium Labs on the way and there is 416 Vapes on the way as well. If you're in the Toronto area, the GTA, go on to GTA Vapes, the, the Facebook group. I guess I can put the link in the description for that as well. Uh, it's a really cool group and They've, they've just held a 416 Vapes giveaway and gave away five bottles of liquid, I think. So that was really cool of them. People were making videos, photoshopping pictures and stuff like that. So that was a lot of fun. And there's a few other groups as well, like T.Vapers I'm part of. And 
I don't know, I, I think Facebook is a really cool place for vapers to, to connect and talk about vaping, what's coming up, plan meetups and vape meets and shit like that. Anyway, that's enough for me. Thank you for watching. If you want to get in contact with me, please leave a comment on the video. Please like the video as well if you can. It's not very hard. It's just one click and it helps me out and the channel quite a bit. And subscribe to the channel if you are looking forward to any of the reviews I've mentioned that are coming up and a lot more. Also, don't forget to check Wacto eSig, the forum. A lot has been going on there and I'm always on there. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Ooh, 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 ooh.